We definitely have a problem. And I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Hello, welcome to my channel. My dropper post stopped working on my low side. Um, my ride last weekend, um, it wasn't going all the way up. Well, now it's completely stopped. Well, it sat out in the cold all night. And so here's the two things I need to get it working again. A shock pump and these Allen wrenches. I do like to use these styles rather than the Y style for seat posts because you can get more turn with them. And I need to take the seat off. So I'll show you how this works. So this particular post takes a five mil hex key, Allen key, whatever you want to call it. And basically you just got to take the seat off. So that is the starting point. Um, to get at where you need to put the air in. So here we go. Lots of turns to get the seat off. So I'm going to show a little trick here. I try not to take the bolts all the way out. As I lift the seat and I try to slide this bottom piece out and get the seat off. Um, that's how I take my seat off. Unfortunately, um, in order to get at the um, air nozzle, you do have to take this all the way off. But I wanted to show you that, that you, you don't have to take all of this apart to get your seat off if you're ever replacing your seat or something. So now we have to take this the rest of the way off. And then once it's all the way off, you can see the little rubber gasket where the air nozzle is. We'll take a closer look at that. Okay, so this little rubber cover just protects the little air nozzle. And when you take the cover off, you can see the air nozzle in there. It's basically just a standard Schrader valve style nozzle. Um, but you don't want to use a regular tire pump for this. You want to use a shock pump. And so we'll go ahead and install that and then take a look at the pressure and add some air to it. Uh, it's really important to make sure you know what your air range is for your dropper post so you don't over inflate it. Okay, so I'm just gonna thread the shock pump on there. Um, kind of hard to do one handed. So I'm gonna thread that on there and then we'll look at the pressure. So there we go, it's threaded on, and then you can see on the gauge that it's at one, let's get the reflection from the light away, yeah, what, 125, something like that, yeah. So um, I don't know the maximum air for this post, and it might say it on it somewhere, or I have to look it up in the specs. I'm going to find that out, and then we'll go ahead and pump this thing up. So I looked it up online and it's supposed to be between 280 and 300 PSI. So <laughs> now that explains why it's not working, right? And when you get into colder weather, you will lose air pressure. So now that it's winter time or close to winter, I'm going to add this up to 300 PSI um, and or probably do 280 just to be safe because I might be having this bike indoors sometimes. And I just don't want it to uh, blow any seals or anything. So probably better to do it at 280 since it's going to be in varied temperatures. Plus our temperatures here in Minnesota go up and down all the time. So I'll stay at the low number just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that air in there. Wow, it's hard to pump. I'm already at 250. <clears throat> Pretty much there. So we'll remove it. 
and test it. And that's why you can't use a regular bicycle pump. So they won't go to this pressure. Push the lever, see what happens. It works. Not exactly speedy, but it functions. Okay, I redid it because I think I let some air out when I was taking the pump off. This time I made sure not to do that. Now watch it. Wow. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be hovering over that when I pull the lever. Now, I just have to put the seat back on. So I'm gonna do that. I don't need to show that process. I also have to remember to put the little rubber protection on there so grit and stuff doesn't get in here. Um, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so just put some air in there. Now it works flawlessly. Pretty cool. So at the beginning of this video, I would push the lever, nothing would happen. Now it shoots up like a dream. So there you go, my post is working. All I had to do was add air. So if your dropper post starts getting a little funky, it's not going up all the way or it's really slow, it's more than likely the air that you need to put in and the valve is, at least every dropper post I've seen, you have to take the seat mechanism off and then get at that valve. Um, and that'll fix it. If for some reason, that doesn't fix your dropper post then something else is wrong which would be probably the cable or it's not pulling far enough or it slipped or something or came loose or the internals of your post which would be down in here are just have gone bad or whatever and they need to be rebuilt maybe the seals wore out and the air just seeps out so then you'd need to have your seat post taken apart and rebuilt so there you have it Hope you liked this video. I'm going to start doing more little tech tips like this on my channel, especially now that it's winter. It's a good time to do it. And I really appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.